Well, this is a male patient, age 46 years, referred to rule out a mass, whether relating to the liver or to the kidney. Solid mass, as was reported. But uh, this thing, that this finding that you are seeing, it was not reported. And uh, it is that uh, if you see that the outer surface of the river is irregular, this is the irregularity of the outer surface of the river, diffuse increased parenchymal echogenicity and the coarseness. That was, this is the longitudinal of the left lobe of the liver and uh, with this being the ligamentum venosum, this is the segment 1, this is the IVC and this is the transfer section. Now in transfer section, the coarseness will be more evident So this is the ascending portion of the left portal vein with two branches entering into it. This is the left anterior ascending and this is the left posterior ascending branch. It is seen, the left lobe is seen below postal margin. And, uh, now this is the region in the longitudinal in the center of the epigastrin, the mid of the epigastrin, just below the rhyphoid process, this is the aorta, this is the superior mesenteric artery, celiac axis, bowel, liver. This is the portal vein. This is the portal vein, this, uh, and the portal vein uh, at the region of uh, porta hepatis majus, from inner to inner, 10.6 millimeter. Normal should not exceed more than 13. So the portal vein is patent and has normal caliber. Now here we see the right loop of the liver. And uh, you can very well differentiate the degree of coarseness seen in this level. This is the gallbladder with shaggy walls. This is the lumen, clear lumen. And this is the portal vein at right angles to the neck of the gallbladder. And this is the coarseness that we are seeing in the liver. This is the right group of the liver with irregular outer surface. This is the right hemidiaphragm. There is no fluid seen in the right pleural space. Okay. Now, let's see the supreme. The supreme mayors in length. 11.2 and is with a normal dimensions as up to 12 centimeter with configured as normal. This is the liver, gallbladder in transfer section. So this is the supreme, this is the cirrhotic liver. This This line, because this is the transfer section of the left row of the liver, and this is the ligamentum venosum, this is uh, the corded lobe of the liver. If you see that the corded lobe of the liver is hypopoic as compared, is less, less bright as compared to the adjacent left lobe of the liver. The reason being that the corded lobe has its own separate blood supply and therefore is uh, in most of the cases not involved in cirrhotic process, thereby giving a normal echogenic uh, pattern. 
Now let's see the study the kidney or the mass that is uh, for which he has been referred. Now this is a mass. Patient is in supine posture. The mass measures 8.7 centimeter and uh, 8.7 centimeter by 6.0 centimeter it shows internal hypopoic areas it's ecogenic and uh, its appearance is inhomogeneous it's solid because we do not see any posterior wall acoustic enhancement is more ecogenic compared to the liver ecogenicity of our, this is the liver all of this is the liver solid, ecogenic, inhomogeneous mass that is measuring 8.7 into 6.0 centimeters, which is our main area of uh, study in this case. Now the patient uh, in left lateral decubitus posture This is the right kidney. I am asking the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. Now you see we are seeing three structures together. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Full charge the otherwise link. This is the cirrhotic uh, liver and this is the kidney. This is the lower pole of the kidney, this one. This is the mid region and uh, this is the mass. So the mass. In homogeneous solid. This is the right hemidiaphragm, this thin line. Sareem, they can either show now. This is the right kidney. This is up to here is the middle, mid pole, mid region, mid pole, no, uh, mid, mid region. And this is the upper, uh, lower pole of the right kidney. This is the longitudinal section of the kidney. And this is the mass. This is the mass. The acetral area. And here is the liver. You see, liver is showing rounded angle. It is not sharp. And uh, the portion of the kidney that is, here, that is uh, normal appearance and my ears 6.3 centimeter into length and 3.96 centimeter into anterior posterior diameter. Now this is the source muscle, this one. Right source muscle. This strap of tissue that you are seeing right here is this is the so right source muscle and we know that the kidney glides over the right source muscle this trap that I am okay now concentrate on this region this is of importance because you know that uh, the kidney glides with respiration over the source muscle. So let's see if uh, 
what is the behavior of the mass with respiration. This is, this is going to help you in differentiating the mass. Now this mass is uh, intraperitoneal, retroperitoneal, or in other words, is it uh, a mass relating to the liver, is it a hepatoma relating to the kidney, uh, sorry, uh, cirrhotic liver, or it is a renal mass. So for that, first, first thing we see that does, do this mass move with the kidney over the source muscle. So I'm going to ask the patient to take deep breaths and then exhale, keep in view this source muscle. Lambasal I can search sar open. Barpado. Pesalu. So for barkadu. Very very kindly. Now you can very well see that uh, this uh, mass is seen moving with the kidney, with the upper pole of the kidney, sarsal and over the source muscle. Okay. Now the second differentiating point is that uh, we consider the uh, retroperitoneal fat line to demonstrate whether the mass is intraperitoneal or retroperitoneal. Now in this case, the mass is, you see that the, the perinephric fat line is being displaced anteriorly. If the intraperitoneal fat line is displaced anteriorly by the mass, you see, this is the mass. Yeah. This is the mass. This is the kidney. Let me get a better view. Okay. Both kidney and the mass. So, all another piece. Local. This is a better view. And uh, in this, this is the cirrhotic liver. Now in transfer section you can see that uh, the mass is relating to the upper pole of the right kidney and it does not exceed uh, extend the midline. It's not crossing the midline, it has it is not giving any pressure effect on the IVC. It is not elevated with it. IVC we saw is patent, normal caliper. There is no mass effect on the vessels in the region of the mass. So this finalizes the study of the mass, which is until I'm just proven otherwise, my right final mass and uh, either hypernephroma or RCC that is uh, With no extension beyond the midline, with no mass effect on the IVC, and is a retroperitoneal mass. Thank you.